Hi sisters and welcome to my weekly vlog. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I really enjoyed getting in touch with and that's Mama Gaia and gardening and I'm going to talk about the spirit of gardening today. And it's really something that this city girl has really gotten her roots in touch with and that's living with the garden and becoming one and planting all this delicious abundance in the garden. So if you follow me over here I've cleared out some of the land over here so I can plant some of my lettuce greens today and those are some of the things that first harvest. Radishes came up for me first and then the lettuce greens came up second. So it's really great about that is that you have all these live food that pop up at different times and then you can enjoy all these different types of vegetables throughout the season of growing. And here's where I planted some of my lettuce. I had I have different types of kale, butter lettuce, romaine, arugula, which is my favorite. I love the spiciness of arugula. And I was able to actually feed my family off of it for about two months. And so just harvested all of that, cleared out the land, and I'm ready to plant today. I've got some carrots and then a couple different types of salad greens that I'll be planting that should be ready to harvest in probably about 45 days. So I've got some carrot seeds in here that I'll be planting. And then I've got some organic, looks like from dark red leaf. I've got some spinach and then regular lettuce. So lots of yummy, delicious greens. So you might be wondering what kind of shoes I'm wearing, but I'm wearing Crocs. They're my favorite gardening shoes. They're so comfortable. I never thought in a million years I would own a pair of Crocs, but they're weatherproof, waterproof, and you just hose them off and they're ready to go. And they're super comfortable. I love them. <laughs> so I've got my carrot seeds here um, and while I was researching different techniques about gardening and reading a few books, one of the things that really resonated with me was actually setting your intentions in your seeds before you plant them. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how I do that. So I like to take my shoes off before planting to get my feet really firmly planted into the ground and really connect with the soil and really so I can actually feel her energy and my energy can also be kind of transmuted through that as well. So I'll take my carrot seeds and I'll just put them in my hand like that and kind of just cup over your hand on top of it. As I close my eyes, I set the deepest intention for Mama Gaia, Earth Goddess, and all the source energy from above to transpire into the highest level of love, light, abundance, and nutrition into these seeds. And I find by doing that, I'm able to really, really connect with the seeds, connect with the soil, and I think that, and I feel in my heart, that I get such a great harvest from all of those. And really, my family is able to get the most nutrition out of it as well by setting the most intention of love into every single thing that you plant. So for planting the carrot seeds, I'm going to place one every about inch to two inches. And as you plant these, you can set your little intentions of prayers for your baby seedlings to grow and prosper into the soil, into the highest level of nutrition. And another really, really cool thing that I've actually read um, in this book called Anastasia, which is an amazing book, I highly recommend it. Um, it was another way that she was talking about how she actually plants her seeds, is that she actually takes her seeds and places them underneath her tongue and then stands barefoot in the ground. And while you do that, that's actually programming your seeds to your own DNA so that when you plant them and the plants grow, they actually know exactly what kind of nutrients that your DNA actually needs. It's another really cool trick and I've actually done those with our tomato plants and they've actually done really, really well. <laughs> Another really cool trick that I read about about gardening is taking your moon time blood and giving it back to your garden, giving it back to Mama Gaia. And that's something that I love to do every month around my moon time, whether that's giving it to a tree or to one of my plants. But one of my favorite things to do is to cover all four corners of my garden with my moon time blood monthly. And that's just something that you actually are giving back life to life. 
Me and my family, you know, we were pretty ambitious this year by taking on planting over 30 different crops. And we actually got really, really lucky. Everything bloomed and blossomed and gave us such a great abundance. But we've got so many different foods in abundance here. We've got corn, we've got different types of squash, I've got green onion, all of my different types of melon, my favorite, watermelon. I've got zucchini, yellow squash over here. I've got broccoli. We've got cabbage over here. We've got green beans, beets, different types of kale, and of course, all of my salad greens. I've got serrano peppers, bell peppers, cherry tomatoes, and beef steak tomatoes. Kale is one of my favorite things to eat, and so is my family's. They love kale chips, they love kale stir-fried, kale salad. Kale is super, super rich in vitamin K, so it's great to eat kale, a little bit of kale every day, so you do get a little bit of that vitamin K every day. Something that I really enjoyed um, gardening this year is growing my own green onions, and they're so beautiful and so fragrant and so delicious, and just make a nice little crunchy add-on to anything that you're making. All right, I've got my basket full of greens and ready to go cook up a delicious and healthy meal for my family. Thank you so much for opening your hearts and joining me here in this sacred space. Have a blessed journey and I'll see you soon.